Hello everybody. Do you know how can I desolder and soldering the LEDs on the PCB aluminum? If you don't know, please follow this video until the end that I show you how is the possible you solder it and of course you take or change the some LEDs on the one PCB aluminum. I will explain in this video with the all details. First of all, you must know about the boards and why we must make the one PCB board from the aluminum. Some of the boards and the circuits uh, produce too much heat and the aluminum is the very good material if you want to make it uh, cool. So, uh, some uh, LED panels and some of the, for example, LED boards for the uh, very easy if you want to make it cold, we use the aluminum. Actually, one of the most specific about the, this kind of the boards is the thickness. If your thickness is the high and uh, this one can make it cold better. And of course, if you make it the heat by the, some LEDs, this one make it uh, heat uh, slowly. In comparison between the other boards, like as this, that is the very thing. And this one is uh, for the uh, some LEDs that is the very really cheap. And the, the, of course, the LEDs that's connected in here is not too much, and uh, they use the low power. So, what's the difference between the, this one? If you increase the thickness, of course, your cost will increase but the quality is too much better. How can I uh, make this one after you design these boards on the uh, Altium Designer program or for example the Eagle software and after that you can for example uh, make it something like this but there is the, some techniques that if you want to assemble or put these materials, LEDs, on this kind of the boards. It's not easy, but it's not sophisticated. Why? Because the LEDs, you cannot put the heat directly and about the soldering is also the, there is the, some techniques. Let's go to show you how you can uh, do it. For the soldering on aluminium actually you need some instruments very simple you need the one iron that has fixed it like as this one this the uh, thermal glue as you can see and you need the one soldering that is the liquid soldering and i put some of the uh, flex inside it and after this one you need the at least two two instruments like as this one and after this one is also maybe you like you need the, some heater like as this so after this one i want to show you how can i possible if this one is the very thin without anything i want to desolder it if you can see this one is the placed very stable and i want to desoldering actually for the desoldering, I must to make this one based on the heat of the iron and the, the thickness of the disc. I put it maybe, for example, uh, one minute or two minutes in the maximum. Please pay attention. If the, this heat is the too much, actually the color of the hair will be changed. So because of the uh, avoid this phenomenon, I uh, put it the heat very gradually actually. So I take this one uh, for the for example near to the one minute and after this I uh, desolder it. As you can see I desolder it very easy. So if I want to change it, it also this one is possible and is no problem if you want to change the any leds by this method by the iron so as you can see i uh, desolder this kind of the leds so let's go for the uh, other one and if you want to solder it i put first of all i put it in here this one because of the thickness 
you must to take this one need to more time actually in comparison to other one for the soldering actually I put some of the this kind of the solder for example for example and I should make it some heat and this one should be warm and warmer as you can see after the some of the some minute it's the uh, should be liquid then I put the LEDs one new LEDs actually here is the one new LCD, LED for example as you can see in the this I put it in the oil for the soldering then you you be careful because this one is the so hot as you can see after the if everything is the good then the soldering was possible after this one you must put it somewhere for the you make it cold and this one is finished after you call uh, the soldering and the LED will be fixed next step you should be clean and this one is the ready to use so for the better understanding I solder one LED more and after that for the cleaning you need this, some uh, liquid like as the thinner and you need this, some brush like as this and you can clean it this one is the necessary because the some glue uh, some of the uh, sorry some of the balls like as this is happened uh, is existed between the pins after this one is also you can brush like as this now your board is there ready you be careful and you must consider never you hit the LED directly because this one is damaged is made by the plastic and this one is damaged immediately hopefully this video should be useful for you so thank you for watching this video